on second thought, maybe gathering up every single Vivisaur is a crazy idea. Especially since we have the internet and shit, so maybe I'll do something else for the final episode. Because to be honest, showing off every single Vivisaur would be kind of sweet, but very time consuming. And we already have enough time right here. So this right here is new. This was not here before. And you want to know why? Dr. Diggins was caught up in... Yes, I'm here. Impernode, I was caught up in my work. I didn't notice you come in. What dead? What's this? It's a secret. Well, I suppose I can make an exception to tell you, Impernode. This device is... A time machine. Wow. <laughs> oh, I was hoping for that reaction like that. I showed it to Wendy and as well, but she didn't believe me for a second. It was pretty disappointing, actually. I was hoping to finish it soon so I can impress everyone with the brilliance. Unfortunately, it's missing three key components, which will make going about... <sighs> Wait, that's it, Umberto. You can find the remaining parts for me. You can find anything. To sweeten the deal, if you find it for me, I promise I'll let you use the time machine as much as you want. Unlimited Irene birthday kisses? Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, I need you three parts. Golden Knight, Diver's Watch, and an idle comp component. I've seen Golden Knight before. Nevada showed it to me. I bet the captain of the pirate ship has a diver's watch. I then talked to Dino for the idol component. Bring them back to me once you have all three. Yep, I think that should be it. This is no easy feat. All of these guys have powerhouse teams, so get ready, because we're about to fight King Dino first. Now, last time we fought him, I was kind of shocked because he didn't use the team I was expecting. I was expecting him to use Raptin and Duna, but he didn't use either, which was odd. I could have sworn he used both, but nope. He just uses himself and Dinomatrons. So I'm wondering if this is the fight where he uses Raptin and Duna, which would make sense because, like, it's supposed to be a tough fight. So let's find out. Da -da 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 -da. I am not a bad computer, it's just a little extreme at times. You should see it on snowboard. Okay. Recently I've been watching fossil battles play by play bearcasts. I would love to get in the booth with those guys and come commentate with them. Okay. I can't help but feel the fossils are like friends to me. I suppose it's because I spent so much time on the ground. Ah. The fossil battle, a human idea based on dinosaurian technology, and then ultimately the salvation of the planet. Your history books will remember this. How about you? Kirk! <laughs> Yeah. Hello, you. I would direly love to battle, but King Dino forbid me from assuming my battle form. Maybe I should become a fossil fighter. Ha ha ha. Maybe. You explain Dr. Diggins' request. So Dr. Diggins is researching time travel. Interesting. And needs idle comp component to complete his time machine? I am intrigued, but I will require a favor in return. I wish for us to battle again. It has been some time since last fought in Bredode, and I have been training. Can you say the same? If you beat me, the idol comp is yours. So shall we battle? Yes. Let's see if he actually has the team I was expecting. Excellent. I think you'll find me much improved. Does he actually use Raptin and Duna? Because I remember that. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Pinta and Compspo. Okay. Compso. So Compso uh, lowers attack, lowers defense of the enemies, making it really easy for you to like take them down. This makes damage piss poor. Like you do like 10 damage. So don't fight this thing unless you have a long range Vivisaur, like I do, and take them out as quickly as possible. With only 165 health, that should be pretty easy, because usually Amargo does like 160 anyway, so that could be easy. 
Then you got Penta, which is obviously a uh, healing skill, uh, Excite Vivisaur, so it keeps you from switching. And then King Dinal has uh, poison skills and Excite. Yes, Dinal is indeed the king. Interesting. Wang. Now he has normal paddle music, god damn it. Uh oh. Please don't excite me. I don't want to be excited. Son of a bitch. Well, we ain't switching. <laughs> well, <laughs> that fucking sucks. With less defense, uh, Megalo is gonna die, so. Just fight, I guess. There's not really much we can do. Fight, please. Can I switch? I just need to take out your fucking comp, though, and then I can actually do something. Oh, thank God, he's stupid. I don't mind if Megalo dies, I just want to take out that comp, though, first, so that way comp, though, can't kill us. There! Good luck, pussy. <laughs> you ain't got shit now. You gonna use sacrifice? What you gonna do, pussy? In fact, if you wanna use sacrifice, guess what? You ain't using it, because I can just nerf that shit. Alright, we're doubly excited. likes Excite for some reason, but that's okay. What I'm hoping he'll do is he'll stupidly go for Megalo, and then I can get some, uh, FP. There you go. Steal some of that shit back. Save some XP. Let's see what he does. He's going for, uh, Amargo again. That's fine. Combo, yeah, 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 let's see. Still here, good. We're gonna have to rely on fucking uh, Lexio after this, goddamn. Power skill, give us some of that power back, and then let's see if we can put him to sleep. That's fine. You'll go for a Margo, that's gonna kill. And we'll just beat the shit out of him, because we're gonna win. Put him to sleep. See if we can do that. Yeah, buddy, yeah, buddy. With him being asleep, that means we can steal his FP, so let's actually do that next round. There you go. Uh, if we do scare... Nah, we gotta do fast scale. We got to, man. It can give us like 100 extra FP.
and that poison's gonna do 100 damage too. That's the worst part. So that's like the absolute worst uh, outcome. All right, put him to sleep. Come on. Nope. No sleep here. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Okay, he's just gonna do Imperial combo again. Or Regal combo, that's fine. Yeah, that's bad. We might lose, actually. Unless we get a crit. Nope, no crit, we lose. That fucking sucks. We were close. Come on, Lexio, use the magic. Tell me the magic, my friend. Yeah. Alright, second time's the charm. That was tough as nails, but a Marco is finally level 12. With all of our Vivasaurs finally level 12, they are at the maximum amount of LP and defense and attack that they are at. So, we should be fine for most of the game. I've given up being surprised at your accomplishments in Bernard. You are truly amazingly capable. Uh, take your prize. I'll give you the best to the doctor. Give the best doctor. <gasps> I believe if we try to fight him again... No. Damn. I could have sworn if you've tried to fight him again he would give you uh, Raptin and Duna and himself, but I guess not. It's very interesting what memories uh, you have of your life, because honestly, I could have sworn he had Duna and Raptin, but nope, he doesn't, which is awkward and silly. You'd think he would have that because that would make him an absolute unit, but nope. Also, you're supposed to get wrapped in and doing on uh, King Dino, so I wonder how we do that exactly. Maybe we have to complete the, uh, the whole time machine thing. Maybe. Alright, let's go to Captain Wilbeard. Alright, let's fight Wilbeard. I thought he was going to be behind his desk. You explain Dr. Dickens' request. Time machine? Why would ye need more, make more time? There's plenty about. The seas be as the sea be, but if ye want me to ever what ye got to battle me, ye are ready to battle, sure. Now this one should be a tough one. This should be a toughie. Let's see. Yep. So it's basically the same team as before but they're level 10 now, so this one should be pretty tough. Uh, so obviously he's going to be up front, we can kill you, uh, we can go after that guy. So this is going to be interesting because we do have a fire type, so we kind of need an air vivisaur, but sadly we don't have anything, so... snap at a Margo probably with uh, Corona. No, he's saving it. Okay. Let's save our points too. Make sure we can do a blazing doom to knock him out. Place your rage. Okay. I remember a lot more violence here, but I guess not. Scale, get my shit back. Alright, what do you got? 
uh, Whirlpool, and you're gonna go for uh, Megalo. Interesting. Sorry, it's very fun to do. Not asleep. Uh, let's go for a combo. Let's see if we can do some damage here. There you go. Got an turn. Got nothing. Chow, 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 chow. Another whirlpool. Interesting. One. Oh, that's a crit. Oh, Judd. Maybe we'll go for a Margo next. Go to sleep. No sleepy, sleepy nighttime. Not good. There you go, Corona Bite. That's what I expected the first time. He's not really using Elsimo, which is interesting, because Elsimo is also long range. There's the sleep. Oh, wait. Elsimo Fury. This has a really high chance for anger, so. Damn, they didn't anger me? Damn, I thought it was like a 70% chance. This is a lot easier, man. This game keeps proving me wrong. It's like, ah, oh, no, this ain't as hard as you thought. I thought it was gonna be hard as balls. Then again, it was hard as balls because I did have a fire type that was a close range, so it had to be up front, so I guess that was the case. I lost a Vivisaur really early, so. Perhaps. Mayhaps. Amargo. Uh, you can do 180. That's fine. This is gonna do a lot of damage to you if I hit it. Damn. And it equalized that motherfucker. Give me my 200 pussy. Yeah. This doesn't feel that hard. It, it felt really fucking hard before because it was like constantly doing high damage attacks, but apparently it wanted to do team attacks in the beginning, which is awkward. I thought he saved his FP at first and then went for a uh, Corona Barrage or whatever. Go for the 110. Go for the 110. The 1 2. Epic. Hit him with the final blow. The ultimate kill. Oh. Well, that's not the ultimate kill. I was going to check his health, but I was like, eh, whatever, you know. <laughs> he probably has like 50, whatever. Dunk, dunk, dunk. I'm going to bite your ass for that. Bite him. Ow! <laughs> Get him a little arm. <laughs> that wasn't a 60 die. You're not the 69 champ, Megalo. I'm so sorry. It was the minus 5 attack. That's what fucked us. <laughs> Defeating Sting like the salt of the sea. The diver's watch is all yours, matey. Good luck with your time machinery. Yeah, buddy. Okay, with that out of the way. We now can go on to the next part, which is going to be Nirvana and the uh, Pyramid. But before we do that, we can do a couple other fights beforehand. And these fights are a lot more complicated. So I think we should go do that. We should go try to fight everybody. Because if we, uh, if we do this, then the time machine's done and then that side quest is over. So we should probably expand some time. So let's go fight someone we know the rat 